Hello, welcome back. Corsets with cup. The cup that can hold so that the person wearing it does not need to wear any underwear under it. There it is. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you are notified the moment we have a new video. I remain only a follower a tutorial on this channel. What you require for this is listed right there. Let's get into it. First and foremost, let's explain the whole process. If you notice, the, for ladies especially, lying down, you can be able to feel around the breast tissue. Run your fingers around it, you can feel it a circle, like that black mark on that lady's boobs is a circle. As such, it's more like a fixture on the body. Below the body is a flat surface. The, the breast is a growth on it. So as such, you need some sort of protrusion on whatever it is you place below it, which is a corset. So that explained, let's get right into it. The measurements you will need. You will need your bust width, which is nipple to nipple, right there. Pick your measurement, then bust diameter from the rise of one of the breast from one side over the nipple to the other end that's the diameter of the breast next on the bust right below the breast measure around the body if it's possible ensure the breast is not sitting on the body even when you're measuring the breast diameter, ensure it's not sitting on the body. The waist, you know that already. The um, corset length from the midpoint of uh, the breast, take it to the waist because I want the length of this one to be around the waist. That's done. Now let's write it out and break it up. We'll be working, we're working on this one in two stages, the body separately and the cup separately. So now let's get into the body. We've divided the under bust by four. Give us eight. I'll be using 32. My waist is also 32 divided by four. That gives me eight. But under bust, I'll be adding quarter of an inch to it. That first line is the bust point line. The corset length is eight inches. I mark it out. into a line bust which which is nipple to nipple is eight divided by two I'll give four and mark four there is a little gap between the two breasts I would be using half of an inch for that one because I'm marking on the fold that's done what is left is three and a half so from bust point, I, measure, I mark three and a half going down, draw it into a line. That three half marking is the under bust line. So on the waistline, I go there and mark my eight inches. On the under bust, eight and a quarter. I connect the two lines and extend it to the bust point line. I get the midpoint of the waistline, draw it up to the bust line. At the point where it meets the under bust line, I mark one over eight of an inch on each side of that line so that I can be able to take out that quarter I added initially. So I mark out the three half around like so. So let's label that center front, side front. I mark around it so I know where to add seam allowances. Then I also label up down to avoid mix up. Although it's not possible to mix up that of front, that of back, there's a possibility of mixing it up. So I extend the underpass line to the back. I draw the straight line at the center back. 
and mark up my 8 inches for the waist on the under bust 8 and a quarter I connect like I did in front on the waist I get my midpoint and drag that to the bust point line at the under bust line I take out one eighth of an inch from each side of the vertical line draw out the line to get to the bust point line so I lay the side back center back at the center back I drop it down by one half of an inch one and a half inch rather then I connect like so then I indicate the points where I want same allowance is added so I just start looking for that later on I also label up down to avoid mix up that done the body of my corset completed Because of the one half of an inch that I removed at the center back, the edge there would not be equal, so I will have to check and trim accordingly. Ensure the underboss line aligns. That done, the body completed. Now to the cup. Remember the diameter of our breast is 9 cm, half of a diameter is radius. So I search half of it will be 4.5 cm. So I'll get a circle. This process is about getting a circle of 4.5 diameter. So the point of intercept there is the bust point. I go on and derive the other part of my circle. all the right we need to take out eight inches down there I took out one inch on each side of that line and on the other side I took one half on each side and on this third side one half on each side so right there three inches taken out on the other side three inches and down below two inches all together making eight so from each of the marked points I connect with the cover line to a little below the bust point. Mind you, this is more like a simple way around it. There are other types of um, cups that you would need to be a little more 
have to do a little more calculations to derive it. The fine enough, I have another, I have um, trainings, paid trainings anyway, where you can learn the other types. Currently, we have three, four types apart from this one. So, if you're interested, please, you can drop a message in the comment section or send a message, whichever one is comfortable for you. I'll get back to you. So, I measure each line to be sure they're still equal because on some at some point i realized them um, i took some to the outer edge of the box and some are still on the marked point for the circle so just to ensure the points that are supposed to meet are equal basically that now above the I connect 2.5 inches above you can do 2 inches but 2.5 is perfect for me because I really don't want to spill all of that done I indicate for the points where seam allowances would be needed all that done now we can cut out as so the cup is also completed Top also completed. Now let's bring everything together and see what it looks like before we continue to cut the fabric. There it is. Right there. Now here it is with the fabric cut. Same analysis added. I cut in four so I can be able to use the same fabric to line it. I'll stick together. Now let's infuse the cup into the hole. The side with the small rise is the side I want to use for the center front. So as such, I would align that to the middle right there. The seam under the cup would align with the seam on the body below there. So I pin it together so I don't mix it. I don't mix it up later. Then to the outer edge there. All I have to leave, all I have to exclude there is just the seam allowance. I do the same for the other cup. That has been stitched in place. Now I go on to stitch the inside also. Follow the process for the two sides. Also done, and I just do it. You can see the cup is already in place. Assume I padded it, it would have stood out by itself. 
even without the padding, you can still see it's still standing in place. So now I decided to stitch it around so I can be able to fix the underwire. I'm using this process to fix in the underwire because of the type of the fabric I'm using. It has a lot, a lot of holes in it, so I'm just using that. Although fair enough, this is just for practice purpose. This is just for training purpose. It's not supposed to be worn out. So really, I won't be using the underwire with it for too long. Just for this process, and I'll be taking it out later on. So I fixed that on the other side also. I would love you to try it. I'll drop a link to the um, to my um, Facebook group where you can post your outcomes. Please, I would love to see it. Play around with it. Also, for you to do the full corset, if you're interested, reach out to me, send a message, drop a message in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Till our next video. Bye bye.